Look at this beautiful seagull. So, good morning, namaste, fit fam. We're gonna go over a little bit of some balancing. So thinking about like uh, waking up, putting your shoes on, stepping out of bed, you know, all the above. Pretty much you just wanna be uh, grounded down to the point where, you know, you can lift your toes up, ground it down on the four corners of your feet. So big toe mount, little toe mount, and then your heels. And then just lifting your toes up, getting nice and rooted. So give you the synopsis right here. Just rolling out of bed, wiggle your toes, give them a nice little ground and foundation, lift them up, spread them, and then put them down nice and evenly. Super simple. And it's just like when we're going, I'm going bending over to grab stuff. Same thing. I'm, you know, planting the four corners of my feet. Toes are lifting up a little bit, and I'm grabbing my shoes or my socks. And then here, I'm gonna try and almost, you know, any type of balancing pose. Whether we just lift one leg out or just hover one foot, even if we're in chair pose. So we're tucking the hips, dropping them down, lifting the toes up, and then just dropping the hips as low as we can, grabbing the item. And then with our balance, putting it on nice and simple, and then boom, rising back up. So taking that same premise throughout your day, reaching down, you know, squatting down, getting as low as you can, maybe getting a little hip opener, stretch like that. But super simple, grabbing the socks, you know, one side of the body is completely neutral, doesn't matter what the other side of the body's doing, this side is nice and stable, got the alignment going. And then just putting on that other item and then exhale forward fold all the above so you know it'll definitely help make putting socks on easier especially if you're in tight quarters or if you don't want to you know touch the ground for any re reason if you're you know in a public area so just really to stay hygiene free work on the balance Anything from the chair pose will help us drop those hips, get low, tuck in the tailbone. So relieve that low back pain. Anytime you feel the stress in your low back, try and drop those that tailbone a little bit more just to send the weight into the legs. Let the legs do some of that load bearing. And then taking our same premise from standing postures to, you know, so it's just like if we're legs lifted doing all this stuff this side of the body is nice and neutral into dasana and then same thing for this side and then drop it low and then that's how you pretty much just go down in like pistol squat come back up pistol squat come back up same thing so one side neutral the other side is you know down for a little bit of flexibility Namaste. A little June gloomy out here, but we're still living. Deep breaths. Breathe stretch, Jake. <laughs> 